All right, hey folks, Nathan here. This is my channel, lots of Star Wars content on this channel, but you'll also find on this channel uh, PlayStation VR Let's Plays and whatnot, basically me jumping into various PlayStation VR games as I get them, sometimes, in fact, often on my very first attempt to actually play the game to give you some initial, fresh, right-off-the-bat impressions, give you a sense of what the games are like, whether or not you might perhaps find something, hopefully, uh, that you uh, might want to purchase, or you might want to uh, say, hey, now I really do want to play PlayStation VR and so forth, because I am a big proponent um, of PlayStation VR now. Nice. Uh, thanks to... Um, thanks to having had a chance to just kind of get into game types that I usually would not think of playing. Um, that now I find myself dragged into because I, I that, that interest is there when it's an immersive environment. Very much like, say, something like uh, Ancient Amulator, which was a Let's Play I did mere minutes ago. All right, so this is Arizona Sunshine. This one's set up with two move motion controllers. Um, you can use the aim controller. I'll show you that in another Let's Play. You can use the regular controller, though I've heard it sucks, but I may actually try that as well, depending on time, for a Let's Play. So when you're using the move, you're going to hold down what I believe is, let's see, the X button, and it's basically just going to point you to wherever you're going to go. You just point at the ground, and you're there. And very much like the opening of I Expect You to Die, you're going to need to grab something from the table and put it in. Uh, and then to select anything, you're going to grab a selector laser gun, basically. And we've got teleport movement, hand move, uh, forward direction, hand, rotation incremental, rotation angle 60, allow strafing, yes and no. Uh, hand rotation, left-handed, master volume, master, blah, 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 blah. You know, all your different options here, whatever. Let's get out of those. Oh, take that out. Uh, and let's check out the campaign. Sweet. Kind of weird that you got to keep switching back and forth between what you're holding because you got to put campaign in and then you got to get the little selector gun to be able to shoot. Uh, let's go easy on me because holy crap. Oh, here we go. All right, so we got sto regular story. Two any weapons only be played with the PlayStation VR aim controller. Or a DualShock wireless controller. Interesting. And then Apocalyptic. So let's go to just story mode. Um, then again, I'll switch to the aim controls. It's actually sitting there, actually turned on. I'm logged in with DualShock 4 plus the two move controllers plus the aim controller, and somehow the moves were the ones that took precedence. Beats me. I hear zombies. <sighs> oh, man. Ah. Whoa. Good morning there, ugly. <clears throat> well, all right. I guess I'll uh, do the nice thing here, Fred. Put you out of your misery. Oh, we're locked and loaded. Guess this is it. Damn. Well, hey, I'm sorry things didn't work out between us, buddy. But, uh... I'm out of here. What, what can I say? Various things you can pick up. Not sure why. I wonder if you can pick something up and throw it. Eh, kind of, but not too a great deal of control. Alright, sure, whatever. So if I do this, let's see how this controls. So just wondering about like getting a sense of how the how it turns you if it turns you. Poor guy. Oh shit! Damn, Freddy. Got you good, didn't I? Oh. Uh... Gotta get going, buddy. Start the day. Hey, break a leg, ugly. All right. I'm just concerned about getting turned around Ooh, and it not being able man. to track. Ooh, Ooh there still we go. got some ammunition left too. Let's stock this baby up. Okay. There were some in there apparently. All right. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Time for some target practice. Oh, I can put that on my mouth to heal? For real? I just ate a burger. Ah, there you guys are. I was starting to get a little lonely. Uh -oh. So what's up, dudes? You know the rules, though. Don't get too close. Pretty good aim. Pretty good aim control. Kind of weird that you can look down like that and see your bullet count, though. And there's your health on your watch. Hey, don't get too close. Guys, what did I just say? Don't do get too close. You happy now? Didn't have to go down like this, you know. You could have sat down, had a nice cup of coffee, talked it through, but no. Well, I guess we're done here. Yeah. Let's head out to that bridge I saw downstream yesterday. Anything I can grab? Anything? Anything? Anybody? Anybody? Huh? Huh? Okay, I gotta grab them and stick them on my belt. Okay, interesting. What is that? Okay, I can do incremental turns with square and triangle that are to the upper left and upper right, respectively, of the, uh, whatchamacallit, of the move button. And when I'm hitting the move button, when I've got a gun in my hand, it's switching which hand it's in if there's nothing else for me to do. What's up, buddies? Okay, so I'm going, so that's how I'm reloading. I'm ejecting the empty spent magazine, but then I'm, once I do that, come on, here we go. Once I do that, I'm going back to my belt. Point at, la ooh, that's kind of cool. Point at ladder and press X. Cool. Some pretty decent navigation for the fact that you're having to use a move controller. What? Grab. There we go. That was a little weird. What? Loading. You can use your watch to access the menu. Okay. Don't know how, but okay. Sure, why not? Those loading screens remind me of Watchmen for some reason. The zombies beg for mercy, and I say no. Rorschach and all. There we go. Okay, let's grab some ammo. Oh. And grab and stick on belt. Oh, press to holster. Well, that's kind of cool. So very Batman-esque. Alright, so I came up here, so I guess this is my door. Nope, that's the door I came from, I suppose. Oh, there's more of them down there. So damn hot. 
And Freddy over here trying to get a tan. Hey, Freddy, come on! Ah, uh, that's why you might want to change the degree of your turn right there. What's up? The aiming is pretty damn precise, though. So you can see, you see there's a the little tiny laser beam. But that's it. Okay, so eject to the belt. Back up, ready to go. Hey, a radio. Hey. Cool. All right. Let's see if this still works. Someone's broadcasted something, but in word. I don't know. Oh, damn it! Burnout. All right. Think, think, think. I need to find another radio. I gotta get to the source of this. All right then. We'll do that. Whoa! Dang, you're a fast one, ain't you? Oh, shit. 3D audio made it sound like it might have been behind me. Freaked me out for a second. Okay then. All right, so we got the cars. Anything in here I can grab? Anything? Anything? Whoop! Oop! There's a rubber ducky. You're the one. You make bath times lots of fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you. No. Ba dum dum -de dum. Hey, lady. What's up, son? Haven't found another weapon yet, so I'm not dual wielding yet. What's up, lady? You're just a little patient. Those headshots are crazy easy to get, though. Look at all these cars. Looks like they all went running from a horde. Well, speaking of the bastards... Okay, yeah. So if you eject it before it's actually empty, you Oof. lose the bullets from it, which makes sense. You need to grab it from the ground and put Let's it back on your belt. Let's see if I can belt. find some more in these cars. You would think there'd be something in the cop car, or that you could do something with that, but apparently you can't. Oh, there's some. What the? Over here, over here, and then over. Here, there we go. Come on. There's two. Uh, anything I can grab out of here? It doesn't look like it. I think I'd be able to do something with that, but apparently not. So why did you even let me open it? Switch. There we go. 
Nothing there, seemingly. A cop car. Another cop car. Uh oh. Yep, I definitely should have just run backwards like I was planning on. Okay, there we go. That was way too much wasted ammo just then. I was trying to check out the back of the police cruiser. Ooh. Press the trigger to pull the pin. Oh, that's okay. That's weird. Okay, so it's basically, it's in this... Come on. It's amidst this ring of stuff up here. So I could switch hands, grab it, pull the pin, and uh oh, be an idiot and throw it way too close to myself. Cause that's how it's done, right? No. Kind of interesting how you can interact with the environment. Most shooter games like these, you usually can't do much with the environment. Even if the environment does look kind of PS2-ish. There's nothing I can grab. Why did you let me open the trunk? To convince me to open this trunk? Okay. Not bad. Fred once again brought all his friends. Maybe I can get around here. Give it. Get it. Get it, damn it. Get the one that's on the ground, you jackass. <sighs> Here, let's take care of this guy. Body and... Here we go. Oh, it looks like it's more I'm selecting by... I thought it was selecting by reaching for it. It's more like I'm selecting by, uh... Um... He said I could use my... Watch to do... Oh, that's cool. Huh. Cool. No, don't quit. Damn it. Alright, I just jumped myself away from the entrance. Oh shit! Switch hands. Definitely gonna take some getting used to. Eject. Reload. Grab. Ah, oh, mother. Okay, it must have been empty. I would hope that meant to be. Okay, so I want to turn this off. I don't like to turn this back. Oh, motherfucker. There we go. That's how you do it. Point. Press. Okay. All right. Now that I know how to use the dang menu. Hey, buddy. Come on. 
Nice. Get eject. Grab. 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 Weird. Oh, and if I pull it to my gun, it must immediately load it or something. That was weird. Okay. Interesting. All right, anything to grab in there? Probably not. Anything to grab in here? Unlikely. Nope. Huh. The car belongs to the old Dutchman mine. Bet it has some useful stuff. Let's check it out. Hmm. It's locked. All right, I'm going to need the key. It might be in the ticket office. Okay, so I'm assuming that's the ticket office. Why don't... Okay, so unless the guy's alive and is going to give a shit, can't I just, like, break the dang window? I'm just saying. Wouldn't that be the obvious thing to do? Okay, I keep trying to turn myself. I need to make sure. So what am I doing with that? I'm doing nothing with it right now. Okay. Sure. I tell you, it's the aiming, the, the aiming for grabbing things that's getting me. It's not even for regular gameplay. Woo! A mask. Come on, I want to put the mask on. All right, maybe I can't. Fine, fine. Ooh, toilet paper. That one-ply mass-produced toilet paper, no less. Oh, yeah. There's something in this box here. Yep. And a bag. Anything in the sink? Oh, I can turn on the sink. Oh, it won't do anything, but I can certainly manipulate the sink. Awesome. Fire extinguisher. All right, I'm going to have to probably use this somehow. What can I manipulate? Is there anything I can manipulate? Apparently not. Alright, yeah, so there's the ticket office. With this code thing, th with whatever this is in front of the door. That I cannot manipulate, it looks like. Okay. I can't just bust down the window, I'm assuming. Oh, there's a side door I can use. Because it's does go a little bit further. Oh, I can go up. Oh, goody. That one is also locked. I'm assuming that was a zombie. It could have just been one of the workers, and that probably wouldn't have been kind of me. Oh, you bitch. Okay, then. Ooh, can I use any of these? Nice. Oh, yeah. Dual wield. Nice. Boom, boom. Is good. Is good. Whoa. All right. Whoa. When did the 
Dun, 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 dun. Anybody down here? No. Hey, fridge. Hey, Fred. What you doing? Chilling? <laughs> I'm a jerk. Hey, Fred. Just making sure, Fred. You would have wanted it that way. I think. Oh, wow. File cabinets to go through. All right, let's check over here first. Seem like I can manipulate anything with that. Oh, there's that key over there, I bet you. Dang, it's a lot of ammo. Whoop! Oh, sweet! Okay, wait. Can I dual wield? Nice. There we go. Oh, and that other one stays on there. Awesome. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Sweet. What is that? Wax beans. Is it? Oh, it's a compass. Cool. Oh, yeah. There's the key. Car key. Gotcha. If I grab the compass, can I put it on there? Nope, apparently not. Okay. Now, where's the... This must be the door over here that I was trying to go through that I couldn't. Can I put it from this side? No, of course not, because that would be too damn easy. There we go, I can open that one. Lucy H, come to the mine. I hope she made it. Well, let's find out. Oh, it's on the other side. Damn, modern cars with their only one side of the car having a keyhole. What the? Is there a button I can press then? Or am I going to the back? I made it a point of getting that key, and now I don't see why I bothered to get the damn key. Because I'm not able to do anything with it. None of these dang doors have a... None of the doors have a key slot! Maybe something to figure out later when I'm not on stream, so I'm not standing around here too much. Yes. Oh, okay. Still works. I pushed Let's the check trigger. It out. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Nope. Anything in here? Not in there. Anything in here? Doesn't freaking look like it. Looks like it's going to be in the back if I find anything. There oh, we go. Oh, a winch, huh? Look at this. That'll come in handy. Oh, shit. 
Turn uh -oh. it off, turn it off. Fuck! Here they come! Still here, multiple. Man, what you want? Oh, That was a close call. Well, okay then. All right. All right, so I'm going to jump out of this and jump out and do another Let's Play here momentarily. I want to give you a chance to see what this is like with the uh, PSVR aim controller as opposed to with the move controllers using a different mode here. So that's a quick glimpse at Arizona Sunshine in campaign mode with the two move controllers. Be back with another stream momentarily with the aim.